has only one. What do you think this is? Dear viewers, don't hesitate to call to us within the numbers which is shown on screen, if I'm not mistaken, right here. Mm -hmm. 7121417765 and 7121417767. These are our phone numbers. You can leave your feedbacks, comments, suggestions, or your answers to our social, so social network sites as well. And also, you can send your videos. They may be poems or songs or something interesting in English. So that we can also share with the rest of the viewers. Right? Yeah, you can oh, demonstrate problems. yourself, your talent. Mm -hmm. So right now, we have talented and eager students to our studio, studio which the Salat now will introduce. Yeah, so we invite them to the studio. Please, Parviz Matlabov, Asadbek Altinov. Welcome to our studio. We are really glad to see you here. Take your seats, please. So hi guys, how are you feeling? Good, how about you? Great. Nice, thanks. So we are happy to see you in our studio. How is life and everything? Perfect. So, so would you sure. like to introduce ourselves yeah. first? Yeah. We just introduce okay. you by your names. Okay. I'm Asad Begoltinev and I'm 14 years old. And I was able to achieve the score of Band 7 from British Council and many more certificates from Cambridge exams, including Lingua Skill and C4. Also, I was able to get the first place from the Bay Championship in Samarkand. And personally, I got the certificate from the governor of Samarkand, Erkin John Turdimov, which was really motivation for me to study further. Also, with my friend Parvis John, we were able to organize the exclusive club, which is called Future Leaders at Innovative Centers. And it's dedicated to help and um, help and shape the young generation. Motivate. Yeah, mm. motivate them to study English. Mm. In yeah. Samarkand, you mean? Yeah. Mm. yeah what about you? Sure. Well, uh, first of all, good morning to everyone. Good morning. And my name is Paris Matlabo, and I'm 16 years old now. So, a year ago, I got 7.5 in IELTS and also C1 level from Cambridge exam, which is international, you know. And also, we both are future leaders club. Uh, so, we are co organizers. So, we help young generation to develop and boost their speaking skills, writing skills, and others. And it is the official student club of Innovative Center, which we help for the students through online, maybe. And also in the summer camps, uh, we organize many debate clubs and also polyglot championships, which we go to place and get re rewarded from the governor of summer camps. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, so let me ask something. What was, uh, what was your uh, main motivation to learn languages like English? Okay, for the first, the reason why I learned English just mm -hmm. because for the first, it's opening many more opportunities right now. So you can build up a good career. And the second, I just want to know my level since when I was 10 or 12, I was learning English and that's why... By yourself? Yeah. Mm. And when I turned to 13, I went for Innovative and with my help of my instructors, Mohamed Hansarif, I was able to achieve the score. What was the challenging part throughout the whole Obstacles. process process of learning language? Not the like preparation for the IELTS, but the process of all, overall English. Okay, the process was difficult because whenever to whenever you want to achieve something, it's going to be challenging. So mm -hmm. I was successful able to overcome this, especially with dealing with writing and reading question IELTS process in IELTS uh, exam. But how about English overall, not the IELTS part? Okay. Um, it was enjoyable, I think, because I'm also motivated to learn English, so uh, I don't really think so. It was really hard for me to cry or just mm -hmm. um, push myself. Before IELTS preparation, how long have you studied English? Okay, as I said, I started when I was 12, mm -hmm. and uh, now I'm 14, and I was in two years. In a matter of two years, mm -hmm. I was able to get seven at Tino Center. Within two years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two years, all right. How about you? Um, uh, when did you start learning yeah. English? Yeah. And did you have difficulties? <clears throat> Uh, I've been learning the type of English and also starting to learn about the IELTS since my childhood. Uh, I think it was about four years now. Uh, all of the stuff, like uh, I started from A1 to the IELTS and also to C1 and C2 levels. So at that time, I think one of the most challenging part was memorizing new words, vocabularies, and most of the students are facing this problem nowadays, you know and they say how we can memorize the world effectively and others. So maybe 
at the end, we will show how to. Mm, yeah, we suppose you brought some information and tech text, right? Yeah, yeah. tips yeah. and tricks. Hopefully, yeah, waiting for that. Yeah, by the end of our conversation, hopefully, you'll yeah. share with the rest of the okay. viewers as well. Mm -hmm. All right, as you were saying, you had difficulty challenges, right? Yeah. Did you ever feel like you want to stop, give yeah. up? Uh, yeah, I had the same dreams. feeling because for the first, I didn't really feel the progress. I was doing lots of homework and I was putting lots of effort to English learning. But in the end, I saw my teachers and I saw many students were getting good results by putting hard work. So I believed myself and I saw that I can make it and I made it as you can see right now. Mm -hmm. What is your future plans which is related to the language? Okay, talking about my future plans, I want to travel different countries just to observe how other cultures look like, at the same time to broaden my horizon, at the same time to uh, to make my network a bit of strong, and this is my plans for right now. Mm, what about you? So, in the future, I would like to study in the prestigious universities, like, you know, in Ivy League. bachelor's degree? Yeah, in a bachelor's degree and also in master's degree because, you know, I would like to uh, broaden my horizon, get more knowledge as I can as possible. So, and also traveling worldwide, uh, learning about the cultures. And also I would like to learn another language, maybe Chinese or Korean. So back to the process of learning English. Did you by yourself start learning a language or did somebody encourage you? Or push it yeah. you. Yeah, push or force you. <laughs> yeah. You go and study English. <laughs> okay, telling the trust when I was a kid, I was a bit of lazy and uh -huh. I had no interest either learning math or English. But my thanks to my mom, she's the one who actually supported me. Yeah. And she actually said that if you learn English, there are more opportunities which are provided. So I just want to give a try and now I'm seeing the results in process thanks to my mom. Yeah, that's, the, you know, most of the, like, um, successful people's reason. Oh, we have phone call right now. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, after one hour and thirty minutes. Hello. Hi. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. morning. How are you doing? Very good. And you? Where are you calling from? I'm from Andijan. And What's your phone. name? My name is Azbek. I'm Azbek Nabif. Great. Great. And your answer? And my answer is Q. Q, yeah. Would you like to spell that word for us? Yes, Q U E U E. And absolutely, I can't say it right, but at the end of it, we'll tell you the right answer. But do you have any other options? Uh, or greetings no, for I your fans or family members? All right, so that's your answer. And what would you like to say to our youngsters here who are sitting next to us? Mm. Maybe some. Wishes, good luck. Nothing. I want only to say the answer of the riddle. All right. Thank you for thank calling you. and watching our program. Take care. Yes, Stay tuned. I'm watching you, and it's a very good program. I love it. Thanks, man. Thank Thanks. You. Have a nice day, and always be successful. Appreciate it. Have a good, good day. Luck. Have a good one. So, you had um, motivation at the beginning of the process, yep. right? And despite being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and as I was saying, uh, for the most part, a lot of successful people or entrepreneurs, uh, main reason to start uh, or set up a business or start a new thing, start a challenge, is because of their moms, mothers, right? They are the very first reason uh, to start something, to do something, to achieve something, you know? And they always are there, they're always there uh, when we want to feel like giving up, right? Or we want to achieve something. They are the ones who want to see the results. Yeah, supporters of you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So speaking of English, IELTS specifically, what is the easiest part for you guys and the hardest one? The most difficult one. The most difficult Okay, one. for me the easiest one is the speaking. Just because... Oh, really? Since my childhood, I was attending many classes, which was actually provided from Timur Jalif and mm -hmm. Muhammad Khonsalif. And during this process... speaking class? Yeah. Hmm. And with the help of their classes, I was able to hone my skills. And as just right now, I, I'm a bit of fluent and mm -hmm. I can easily express my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Great, great. How about you? I think the easiest one is writing for me. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, because, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was unexpected. I didn't yeah. see that coming. It, it is really unique uh, because, you know, <clears throat> the time uh, when I started writing essays, it was really difficult for me to express my thoughts through writing. In the beginning? Yeah, in the beginning. While with the help of Bobur John Bakhtiorov, so he, guide, yeah, he guided us, especially in the writing. So the main purpose of guidance was the writing, how the essay structure is, how we can form the structure and how the coherence cohesion is the main part of the writing essays. So after that, I think about the writing and it was really easy. For that reason, I got seven in the writing in my IELTS. Interesting. All right. What do you say uh, when I talk about like practice makes perfect? Do you agree with that? We have a saying in English: yeah. practice makes perfect. So, perfect what are your easy. Yeah, yeah? What are yeah. your thoughts about this? Practice makes perfect. Okay, do I think that quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's correct. You need to do and complete lots of practices. At the same time, you need to analyze and know your mistakes mm -hmm, because if you actually skip and do not go to the end what kind of mistake you made, I don't really think so you're going to progress and get the desired score you want. Reviewing is very important. Yeah, yeah you're right. All right. So analyzing is the key point yeah. because when you're um, working on a particular task, if you don't analyze and still make that mistake over and over again, it's the same thing that's going to happen for the rest of the process. Right? Yeah. Yes. So that, your main thing is analyzing as yeah. well, right? Not just practicing. I'm practicing a lot, but there's no results. Yeah. So the main thing is also yeah. analyzing, right? Yeah. Analyzing and understanding why you are making this, that mistake and yeah. how you are making that mistake. Yes. Right? And what about the difference between self-studying and studying with the help of teacher? Mm, yeah, that's a very interesting question. Well, uh, I think uh, it depends on the student itself mm -hmm. because, you know, many students cannot de develop their selves by studying, uh, like, by self-study. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, both of us attend to Innovative Center, we have many teachers, we have many networking systems. So for that reason, we can get the knowledge uh, effectively from studying at Innovative Center or studying with the teacher, the help of teacher. Because, you know, teacher can give you some feedbacks and also can help you to express your thoughts and other uh, skills. However, if you are students who cannot develop yourself at home, so you need to go to the language centers. You need to work with the teacher. However, if you can, you haven't got any doubt that you can do it, so please be kind and do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you so combine both, uh, you will be unstoppable and you will get, end uh -huh. up getting band nine, like Pobre Jan from and yeah, others. Sure. Like, well, yeah, of course, as we, said, as we watched in the beginning of the video, our program, right? So you, need, you see, we have like tons of opportunities now, like choices right. out there to study, right? To engage our like, students and ourselves, to entertain, keep us entertained on the internet. And there are students, still students, I don't need a teacher. I don't need an ex instructor. Yeah. There are quite a I lot of, yeah, there are quite a lot of opportunities and materials out there. Why do I need a teacher? So I can follow my dreams, right? I can do it by myself. So here they're saying, still you have a teacher, still you, ha you need to, to have, have an instructor, teacher, yeah. you see, to follow because they are experienced, right? Teachers are yes. always experienced because they make that mistake and they don't want you guys, students, to make that very mistake again. So if you have internet, of course, you can do it, you can improve it, you can develop it, but uh, there are quite a lot of misleading information as well, right? Materials, yeah. fake so, news, fake information as so well. Much. Yeah. So much. For that reason, every student who just wants to do self-study need to use outstanding resources, mm. including MM Publication or Cambridge Books. And those are the outstanding and they look like the real us exams. Yeah, you are right. And uh, what's your uh, future plans which is related to the IELTS? Do you want to take it, retake it? Of course. Uh, Leveling up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're not going to stop until we reach the top. We are going to get nine. Nine. And also, oh, we're oh. going to work at working, and we're going to work hard to get perfect score from ACT, which is also the type of test that mm -hmm. uh, tests your knowledge in math in English. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In order to get into Ivy League schools, you yeah. mean for Harvard, Princeton. Oh. All right. Yeah. So, what would you like to say to your 
peers or friends maybe who are watching you right now? Okay, I would like to say that uh, whether the process is difficult or challenging, never give up. All the time, follow up your, follow, follow up your dreams and do not skip the, the, the foreign language program as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I definitely agree with that. Yeah. All right. So motivation, you know, from these youngsters. Thanks ever so much for coming and visiting us, seeing us. Never give up. All the time, follow up your, follow, follow up your dreams and do not skip the, the, the foreign language program as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I definitely agree with that. Yeah. All right. So motivation, you know, from these youngsters. Thanks ever so much for coming and visiting us, seeing us. Okay. So see you next time then. Thank you. Take Thank care. You. Thanks. Good luck so for your So our lovely ones, continue watching our program. We are not finished yet. Much for a mesmerizing song. Yeah, do not feel sad, guys. Be yeah. happy, be happy, stay happy, all right? We are feeling extremely gl glad that we are going live today on Sunday. Don't feel lazy, watch us, and we have a question. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> we have a question. What word has five letters but sounds like it has only one? Come on, guys, come on. We are Call waiting for us. your answers. Don't hesitate to share with your answers, options, or you can also send your greetings to your beloved ones. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. She doesn't know actually the answer. We'll test at the end. She, she will, he will also, ask. He yeah. also. I made up the question. How can I not oh, know? Uh, he's lying. <laughs> All right. So, welcome our next guest. Our next guest is our. Uh, so I'm going to invite our next guests, Zafar Nurmamadov and Mahmoud Khamraev. Please welcome. welcome. Welcome to the studio. Bye. Take Hello. your seats, please. Take your seat. Hi, guys. How are Hi. you doing? Nice. Hi. Nice. Are you not feeling nervous? No. Everything's okay? Sure. Right? Have you ever been live TV show before? No, it's no, the, first, the time. first time. This, this is the first, first time. time. And not oh. going to be the last one as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah sure. This is the first one. Starter. So please introduce yourselves uh, so we're a little bit. Viewers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Afar. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Samarkand. I have SAT score of 1200 and IELTS of 8. And I was taking some Cambridge uh, ex exams, like such as CAA and others. So that's it for me. Mm -hmm. How about you? Uh, my name is Mahmoud. I'm 14 years old. Uh, I haven't taken IELTS actually yet, but I already booked the test for like March. We'll it's see my results. It's yes. approaching. But yeah. what I can actually mention is that I was the winner of a award that our president gave actually. I was the part of a school team and we took the place, second place among all other cities, uh, school cities, like uh, in terms of the best school in learning foreign languages. Mm. So when and how did you start learning English? Oh uh, well, I guess the trigger for me to start learning English was my little trip to the United States. That was when I went to the shop and I failed to ask the price tag for a certain item. I got really ashamed of myself and I was like burning red and I returned home and I set an ambition for myself. When was, was that? About four years ago. Four I'm years ago. Yeah. You were 12 years old? Yeah, yeah. somewhat like that. And I said like, I'll learn English no matter what it takes. So then I started learning English and as you see right now, I'm a Band-Aid holder. Mm, interesting. And what about you? Uh, on December last year. Hmm. Last year. Like the torch for me was that I was born in the United States actually. And this is the part of my kind of heart. This language is part of my heart. Mm -hmm. And if I want to learn it, it, it will kind of shame on me actually. Mm -hmm. So, and the main purpose is actually that English offers a lot of uh, prestigious universities. So I can easily get into them. So that's the main reason. Mm -hmm. okay. So what are you busy with nowadays? What are you guys doing? Well, what are you up to? Uh, I'm currently not stopping my progress on English language because I want to be the youngest niner, uh, like the new one, because as you already know, there is already the youngest niner from Samarkand called Urujan Bakhtyor. Mm -hmm. So I want to be the, another one. So I'm preparing to get an IELTS for nine and I'm also continuing my SAT classes. So that's it. So to improve your score. Mm. How is the process going? It is going quite alright and I would say that I'm making a progress and I'm learning new things and I'm quite sure that I'll get nine. You're working with teacher or by yourself? Uh, actually, I'm doing pre-tests and I'm publishing materials from our own center. As you know, it's Innovative Center. Uh, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. What challenges are you facing nowadays? 
Well, I guess the main challenge for me is the writing task, writing task from the IELTS, mm -hmm. because as you know, it requires lots of analytical thinking, like uh, skills and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So that's, I would say, the main challenge for me right now. Mm -hmm. And this one, which is? Uh, most of all, the task one, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, because I really find it difficult sometimes to analyze the graphs, the charts, and then to summarize all of the information and report the main features. Mm -hmm. It is quite challenging, I would say. How effective do you think are working with samples? Uh, they are quite effective, but uh, if actually if I will not compare my, like, how to say, pretest results with my peers and we won't discuss them, there is no effect. But if we will, of course, I'll move forward. Could you share, please, some insights or techniques which is related to the learning English for our viewers, for language learners? Of course, actually, we made up some tips about how to improve uh, speaking and some mistakes that most of our youngsters do nowadays. And uh, Mahmoud, you can go first. Uh, sure. Uh, one of the most common mistakes is mispronunciation. Mm -hmm. Like, um, as you know, pronunciation means a lot, even though ex like accent doesn't. Like, whenever you're trying to communicate with a native speaker, uh, he won't understand you if you won't stress words properly. So nowadays, as we told before, internet offers a lot of education materials such as podcasts, for example, available on YouTube. So you can easily type like native speakers talking and it will appear on YouTube. You can listen and gain some knowledge. Mm -hmm. right. So we have this technique to improve our pronunciation and fluency, which is called shadowing. Yes. And do you guys do that? Practice? Yeah. Sure. Would you like to talk a little bit about that? Because there may be the ones who may not know yeah, what shadowing about is. Shadowing, yeah. yeah. Would you like to talk about it? Well, what is it actually? How often we should do it? I mean, how much do time do yeah. you need to spend for shadowing? Well, I guess shadowing is not the best technique to apply because one must have his own accent because like copying other people is not always the best thing because if a person does not come up with their own accent, they won't be able to perform well in the actual speaking test. So my recommendation would be to try to work on their own way of speech and try to produce more natural language, so this way they can go to higher bands, just seven, eight, and nine. Mm -hmm. Interesting. At this moment, I want to ask something off topic. Uh, how much time do you spend for the internet? Because this is inter uh, today is internet free day, therefore I want to ask it. Like for five or four years, uh, five or four <laughs> hours, four hours so, yeah. a day, yeah, four hours. in order yeah. to uh, learn something. Not, in general, not learning like or communicating, uh, surfing, surfing, just surfing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it's a bit too much? Yeah, I know. I need to get rid of it actually, but I'm trying to. I'm trying my best. Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, as you know, internet is the main source for every single type of information, and when it comes to studies, internet is no exception. Mm -hmm. So I guess four or five hours a day is not too much for learning, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, if it would be for scrolling on the internet or like being on social media, it is like long. But for studies, I don't think so. How can we, you know, differentiate uh, between the fake materials, fake and reliable ones? Yeah, fake ones? Well, I would say the obvious, one, the obvious way to distinguish them is just to look for the official materials in the official site. I mean, there are some sites that can make up fake information or make fake, fake materials and publish them as the official ones. But actually, those which come to from such official sources as Cambridge, British Council, or RDP sites are actually they are reliable and we have this chat GPT thing <laughs> now oh. do you use and it? are you guys be using honest, it or? be honest yeah, with be honest. Yeah. Yeah. How actually often when it comes to chat GPT I think it's not as reliable as official materials because it's still a robot you know it's artificial intelligence it can make mistakes and it usually does actually so uh, I think that in the future it may be upgraded to the level of the same as official protests actually, but right now I would better rely on official materials such as Cambridge, like British Council protests, samples. Mm -hmm. This is more reliable. I see, mm -hmm. I see. And do you guys think like listening to music or can songs can be beneficial for learning English? In a way, not like in this specific very reason, yeah. but in a way, kind of. Uh, I certainly think so because like when a person listens to music he just dives into the world of the singer and he tries to understand every single word said Forget by about the speaker. The world, the yeah. whole outside. And he tries to adjust to this rhythm and he tries to go on the flow together with the music and this way he can just immerse themselves in the world of music thus learning English in a more efficient way. Mm -hmm. okay. So that is why I guess 
well, the question is not given for no reason. Yeah. We have another song here. Special for song for today. Yeah, yeah. To boost our moods. So thanks for coming. Thank and you. Good luck you. Um, you. with your studies. Yeah. And good luck for your future. Break a leg, all right, in the very near future. Hopefully, the youngest diner will be you. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And after you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So <laughs> do not so. Uh, hesitate to visit us next time yeah. again, all right? Okay. We'll see you again. Yeah. yeah. Hope see so, you soon. Viewers, continue thank watching you. our program. We haven't finished yet. We have a song.